Hello, it's Denise here, Junk Journal Junkie UK. Nice to have you guys join me again, thank you. And uh, welcome back to my, um, oh, what am I calling it? Botanical Woodland, I think. Yeah, Botanical Woodland Journals. Um, so last time we made the, covered the, covered the cover. <laughs> yeah, we covered the cover. In material and I shared some of the um, signature with you and I was waiting for my book to arrive and it's here it's arrived I've taken the outside leaf off yeah so I'm going to today take definitely for the first half of the video take the book apart go through some of the images and choose a couple to be pages in each one of these journals so I need four four pages for there and I'm wondering if there's a couple of pages that would um, go in the fairy journal that's imminent, so um, perhaps six pages we're looking for, we'll see. Okay, and just to uh, make it a little bit easier on the camera, I have just cut through the first and the last signature um, threads, the rest I've saved to do with you, um, just so that I could take them out and give, give myself a little bit of room. They're very small signatures in here, so one, yeah, three pages, that's all in that first signature. So I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll take the signatures apart and then we can go through and look at them. So that's the first one. I've done the same in the back because it's a very wide book for the, uh, the camera, I think. Yep, so that's the back one. Okay, so for those of you that haven't seen it before, all you do is turn to the middle of the signature where you'll find the stitches. I'll have to try and not just get one, two, three, some more than three in that one. Oh, I see, that one's part of that. One, two, three. I'll have to try and not get... Oh, maybe this one hasn't got three. I give up. <laughs> I just keep turning until I find some stitches. And third time I'm going to say this. Not get distracted by the pretty pictures until the time comes to look for them. Okay, so can you see that's the stitches that I'm looking for? I know a lot of you have seen this and do this regular. How many pages I've got? One, two, three. Yeah, I think that one's stuck to that back page. Okay, so I hope I'm not going to get too close to you. This is this is why I took the first two out, just to give me a little bit of room. So I just use my craft knife. Very gently go under the, the two strings. Often you get them both together, but not always does get easier the more you get out which is why I made a bit of a start and uh, this is the way you get the double pages out which is what I'm looking for I think now it is a nice um, oblong shaped book oblong shaped page so yeah that may not be the case it may be that I'm after single pages <coughs> excuse me that will fold over actually I think I probably am having said all that but we'll take them out as full signatures and then that's the back is it not that it matters really I'm just trying to do it as easily as possible yeah that one's attached so there should be three in theory one two three okay I give up looks to me like it might be about to rain out there which would upset me greatly because I have my laundry on the line so if I suddenly stop the video and dash off <laughs> it will be to save that hope you're all well guys getting some crafting in I'm not sure what uh, day this will go up. I am um, filming it on a Thursday. <coughs> oh dear, I've got a right tickle in my throat. I think that's going to go away. Although I've done a few videos today. I'm trying to get ahead a little bit so that when I go to the caravan, oh sorry, I don't have a problem of uploading because that really is an issue. I mean, I will if I have to, and I probably will film where, because, as you know, 
I love to film when I'm crafting but if I've got plenty of videos done I don't have to upload them yeah that one's attached until I come home so I'm only going for a couple of days I think a couple of days there a couple of days home and a couple of days there again if all goes well to stop and get a drink I've got an awful awful tickle in my throat how annoying normally I have one here with me somewhere even if it's a cold one because I I know some people can't bear it but I can drink my tea and coffee cold as long as I've had it in my view all the time I couldn't drink one that I'd left and come back to in case a fly or something had landed on it <laughs> But, um, you know, often when I'm crafting, I think it became, I got used to it when I was a teacher, <laughs> coming back to your coffee after a thousand interruptions. That little one there does not want to come out. I still don't think it has. Well, no. Nope. Has it? <laughs> Did I say it got easier the more you got out? I think I was fibbing. Another one? No, nope, I'm going to keep trying that one, aren't I? Right, we're, we're nearly there now. Um, in fact, I think what I'll do is, uh, because it, you've just seen the same thing over and over again, I'll just stop it, go get a quick drink for my throat, and then I'll come back with a signature um, cut. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I've got all the signatures out, all that's left in now are the ones that are actually glued to each other. So this is a slightly different binding to what I normally have because normally you just get one front and one back. But they've kind of glued the front, the first and the last in each signature to the first and the last in the next signature, if you see what I mean. So I've um, cut through the book to get these out. I haven't done it carefully, I just left this bit to show you. Um, a very sharp craft knife normally if you would want the um the cover you know to re to remake a journal with you do that a lot more carefully and not cut through it like i have but i know i'm not going to reuse this cover so i just went for it yeah yeah so they're stuck to each other and stuck into the spine as well look i mean if you did want the cover you could soon recover that <laughs> you could soon save it shall we say by putting a piece of, of cloth down there and it'd be fine something on the outside the beautiful pictures on there aren't they okay so that was poems of the countryside it was it still is but it's in bits right let's have a look how these are they're literally just <clears throat> right so the front and back are glued on definitely okay so are these just glued to each other now yeah, can you see there? Look, I think they're just like glued into the spine. Yeah, so they are still kind of attached. But like I say, I was saying I wanted, I wanted them attached, but I, I'm not sure that I do necessarily. But I've got the option now. There's a lot of glue on there. Don't want to rip the pages. She says. Try it this way. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, I think that's the way to do it. So grab the two that are attached and pull them off the rest. Very stretchy glue. Don't look at those pictures. <laughs> You'll get distracted. Oh, they're gorgeous. You'll get distracted. Okay, we've finally got them all separated. Okay. I hope you wanted to do that with me and see. I hope it wasn't boring for you. Um, they're the sort of things that I, I, well, I still do find interesting, but I definitely found interesting when I first started taking books apart. Because not all books are the same, as you've probably gathered, and as in bound. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have another quick drink of my juice. Okay, so I'm looking for woodland pictures 
and I think as soon as I'm going to fold them, these are single ones anyway. Is that a good picture for you? Um, yeah, I think I'm going to fold. I'm just going to fold this one and have a look at it because um, it looks like it's a good picture, and I might get a bird on each side. Um, but I just want to look at it size wise with the signature. Yeah, so he's lost his tail a bit, but in theory, there's a bird on both pages. I'll, oh, I'm so sorry. It's not lost much of it, but most of it's in the uh, the leaves anyway. So let's get what we've got so far. Oops. Signature wise out. And just look. Yeah, I mean, obviously that. Uh, let me just take that and just do it with a scissors for now. Because it's a bit distracting, that ratty end, isn't it? Ah, put them on the back. I don't want to take too much because I will square it up with the guillotine properly. That can cut st much straighter than me. Um, but yeah, let's just put it in to see. And we're just looking size wise, really. Yeah, it's lovely, I think. So I'll have the option of trimming it round that. Um, that black line there or not, leaving it as an obvious page or trimming around the back line. It <laughs> looks quite nice there actually, doesn't it? Shall we leave him in? Let's just leave him in for now and choose the pages that are possibilities. Um, so I'm looking for forest and um, fairies, so I don't think that does either. No, that beautiful though it is. Now the, these might be good for the fairies. Um, oh, they're beautiful pictures on both sides. Look, um, and floral ones. Yeah, so we'll put that in the fairy floral pile. Is this just the? Yeah, if there's only one picture, that's all. I might as well separate that from the text, hadn't I? Now that's countryside, not um, not forest. So we're probably going to end up with a countryside one. Countryside, florals and forest. Right. And again, I would consider that countryside. There's a little bit of a forest around it, but it's not really in the theme. So countryside and this one I don't know if you can see that far can you probably not that one's going to be florals yeah, that's now that's countryside it could be the edge of a forest maybe that beautiful that would be nice with the fairies and so would that I wasn't going to separate that one but I've changed my mind Countryside, florals, oh the daisies, daisies and bee. What's on the other one in the centre? That's just, I mean we'll use these text pages but they're just not what I'm looking for at the moment. I'm going to go fairy and floral with that one. Right, so I don't want to do all this with you all the way through the pages, you'll be getting fed up. Uh, countryside, countryside, countryside. Oh, so the ones that I'm not pulling, I'm just looking for forest now. If they're not forest, I won't pull them out, and then I can separate the floral from the countryside off camera. Mm, now I like that one that's forest friends isn't it yeah I'm definitely having him for the forest oh yes and on the back there is I think that's holly no it's not it's an oak tree I don't know I'll have to read the front because it does say in the front oh and there's an owl might leave those attached for the forest one then I haven't got a pile yet have I 
so and yeah that could be again it could be the edge of a forest it's trees i'm going to go for now forest oops oh, i didn't finish this one did i so this has got a robin in it this one that's going to be forest i don't know about that one yet so they seem to be in seasons yeah that's got a forest in the background actually that's a gorgeous wintry picture um, I'm not going to take it for now. It would go with trees and such like, but no. Nope. Snowdrop. That's very foresty looking, isn't it? I'll just put that one in there and see. So the daffodils are floral, countryside. Countryside. That's beautiful flower and I don't know what it is but I do know it's pretty oh and there's a bird a cuckoo we'll have to have the cuckoo he's definitely forest oh now look at that that's kind of chickens in an orchard but I'm loving those trees oh and the cherry blossom so we're going forest with that one Loveliest of trees. I might put that little bit of text in as well. Obviously, I'm going to choose. They're not all going in. Oh, I'm putting flowers down there. I have to choose my favourites. Deer. Mm -hmm. And when I've turned the camera off, I'm just going to sit and <laughs> ogle these. Ogle or ogle? Which word is it? Or which pronunciation? Hmm, I'm going to go fairy with that, even though it's trees, because I think that will be lovely with a fairy on it. Oh, it does make life easy when it's just text. That's beautiful. That could be fairy as well. Fairy and countryside. Countryside, countryside. Now. A plum trees and it could be in the forest oh and that lovely spider's web but i definitely feel that's a fairy looks like there's going to be a winter journal in here as well winter scenes lovely gosh i'm pleased it wasn't anymore because that was quite a decision wasn't it so i've got winter scenes i've got florals i've got countryside i've got fairies and these are the ones that i pulled out as possibilities for I put one in here, didn't I? I'm definitely keeping that one, I think though, it's beautiful. Oh, there's the deer, yeah. We're definitely having that one, it might not be in that spot, but so I want three more at the moment. So I might use this um, to decorate. Obviously it's not going to be a page. The blossoms, I love that as well. So, but maybe not a forest. Right, the birds I'm gonna keep for now. Snowdrops again, that might be a wintry one, so I'm going to take that one out. Another bird, so we're definitely keeping the birds. So this is kind of the edge of a forest with fields in the middle. Mm -hmm, possibility. Autumnal. Again, it's not really a forest, is it? No. Oh, yes. And these are going to be definites. Love them. What were the others? Oh, that beautiful owl. Just not sure about the back of the owl. You know, if it's a page with pictures on both, so I don't want to cover it over. That would be a shame. So I'll take the owl out for now. Fall leaves. Oh, on those yeah so those are a definite not sure about the back of that one and I wanted three didn't I on top of that one so that's it that wasn't too bad oh let's have a look now they don't have to be folded exactly even so I could have all that picture I'm guessing let's 
see. Let's see if it's too big. Maybe a little bit. Perhaps not when I've trimmed down that. So I trim the picture down entirely. Because obviously this will have something stuck on it. See, pages don't have to be all the same size. And it'll be a nice, you know, one face in the opposite direction for a change. The temptation is always to put the, the pretty or the striking things actually facing you when you turn the page, whereas the back of that. Yeah, I even like that poem there. Blackberry picking. No, it doesn't go there where I've put him, but yeah, trim it down. So I don't know where he's going, but we're having him. We're definitely having them. So could we do the same with the cuckoo? What happens to what's on the back? We could take a little bit of the the green over because chances are we are going to put something. Excuse my finger <laughs> squeak. It is it's not really shiny, but it is shiny paper. So that would be that page. Let's do it again, put it in the journal. Just to see what this picture looks like. Yeah. So it's obviously just half a flower. It would have to have something here, but it's quite a nice background. And then when we got to the back, yeah, the same thing. Pretty. There's enough of it on show. Obviously, it'll be trimmed down a lot. Yeah, put something on it. And then the bird, yeah, so that one would be fine at that shape with a bit of trimming. So we've got three birds and these little sweeties which are mice what type of mice I don't know um, we kind of need to fold them so we've got one on each side let's have a look oh that shouldn't be a problem it's a shame they can't both be on the same but oh we're very nearly in the middle and we are okay so that'll that's a completely half. Oh, just got him. Look, he's going to be tucked in the uh, two pages here. I can put them in between. Because that vellum one's a bit. And obviously, these aren't the colours, not exactly where they're going, but yeah, he's sweet. And again, that's a lovely picture at the back for something to add in to or not. And when we get to the back, yeah, so some nice poems. We can leave them or we can completely cover. Yeah, he will just be, won't he? He'll just be on that page by the time there's a, quite a fat signature. Super. Okay, so we've chosen them. What I need to do is choose the two that are going in this signature because obviously I'm going to create another signature for the other journal. Um, and I want a, a couple more pages, I'm not sure what of, but I will come back to you when I've got these trimmed and ready in this video. These trimmed and ready to go into the signature and perhaps a couple more pages. Okay, so I'll see you in a second or two. Okay, so I've just trimmed around the four that we chose and um, we'll choose the two that are going in the signature. I've also brought um, another page of the kit from Nanine, um, and that's backed on a piece of Shabby Dabby Doo Da. Um, I think it's from one of her tea ones, green tea maybe. <coughs> oh, goodness, okay, excuse me again. Um, a piece of Yes, coffee dyed, coffee dyed paper. I've done myself out. You can see how it's. Uh, I haven't ironed it or anything like that, so it's it's vintage looking. And a piece of lace on letters from Paper Out Post, and a piece of vintage notebook that I got from the charity shop the other day. Got those lovely grids on it. 
you can see how the sun or well, maybe you can't or oh, maybe i should have the light on that might help is that better or is that glaring i don't know um Anyway, I'll have to give it a go. You maybe can see how it's like um, naturally aged around the edges. So I'll just put a bit of that in. Okay, so I know it's going to be a reasonably thick signature, which is why I put a spine in the um, covers. Because although it's only one signature, it's going to have quite a lot of pages before I start embellishing. Um, cause it's quite thick now. So. Which two of these birds are we going to go for? That's let's just spread everything out and then have a little have a little look. See, you can maybe just see the edge of everything there, can you? Um, can we just see the jaw of the smidge. Oh, just a little bit more there. Um, and then right. So I'm already seeing that it was quite a few bluey pages. Quite a few bluey pages I've put on back to front you know, in here, so um, I'm thinking this bird might be a good, a good call. In which case we don't want the other really big bird. Um, those two birds, all the mice, what have we got on the inside? I'm gonna go with that one. No, no reason that I can tell you, just because. Okay, so we've got two birdies. This, this, and this. Let's have a look then. Right, let's have a look. No, I'll we'll start at the front and see. We'll just try things in, move them about. Um, so we've got the blue and the blue there. I don't know if a bird. Oh, he's going to be in the back anyway, isn't he? Although that might allow for that butterfly to shine a little bit. There. Still leaves it against that blue, and then that bird is against that there, isn't he? Okay, for now, we'll have that one in there then. We've already got a book page in here. I don't know if he's going middle, bottom, or, or if he's even staying there. What else have we got? Those daisies. No. he go better on some I think he would so the question is is it going to go there or we're going to have the green and the green what have we got there the envelope the owl and the envelope went to see okay oh oh it's throwing it down with rain oh well welcome to August in I mean yeah August in England. So I've been out and got my laundry in <laughs> and I'm quite wet, my glasses are wet etc. However, back to what we were doing. Um, let's just have a look what we've got. So we've got kit page and a book page, kit page, kit page, book page, coffee dyed, envelope, kit page, page yes yeah, so I'm something here definitely and we've got those beautiful eggs peeping do we want eggs peeping round there do we want another bird with the eggs that might be a better theme as it were what's going on there oh yeah oh, I see I see you that's a tuck on the page I think so what's it going to look like there? I was thinking that might be a tuck, side page tuck, but actually it's not going to go with that bird, so we'll have to go somewhere else. Don't like the two birds at all. No. Um, right, back to there. Yep, so we've got the bird with the eggs kit page, and then we're in the middle. So do we want... Is that big enough for the envelope to hide inside? No, not quite. So the envelope definitely needs to be in a full page. I 
Oh, we've got a piece of that daisy there, look. I love that daisy paper. Um, right, so there was one at the front, wasn't there? Was it here? Yeah. So let's see what we think to the, the daisies in there. Yeah, don't dislike it. Um, I'll we'll just try the others for. I, mean, I know the daisies go because it is part of the kit. That's a bit clashy with that, that green. Yeah, I think it's going to be daisy. Now that I was thinking, I haven't got a doily out yet. We may have a doily in there. I don't decided. I certainly haven't got a tea dyed one ready. Coffee dyed at the minute, so I might have to do that. Page and him, oh, him, yeah, and then we're at the middle, aren't we, so he certainly won't fit round that, will he? It'll have to be one in here if I want it in. So I don't know if they're going to go, unless I have one staggered with that. No, definitely not that one. I want him at the bottom because he's a rabbit and rabbits have the feet on the ground, don't they? They don't like to be in mid-air. Yeah. Yes. Now, I'm thinking this could be a flip out on one of the pages, but not that one. What about this one? Yes. That's quite a plain page, isn't it? Yeah. So I'll have that one in there as a flip out. Maybe a pocket behind it. And he may go on there. Yes. Okay, so we've got our signature. How many pages have we got in it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and we'll call the envelope 14 because we don't want 13, do we? Okay, so 14 pages, and I, I usually put 9 or 10, so that is um, more than usual. And yeah, we've still got room to fill it, super. Room to fill it and the pocket in the front and the back. So next time you see this, it will be sewn in. And I will have the pages done for this one that may well be sewn in as well, we'll see. But I am going to use, I think I'm going to use a different kit for this. So there'll be some of the same bits and pieces in here. For example, these um, Benningfield pictures will be in here. But I'm going I'm going to use, um, I don't know yet, but I have got a, a woodland kit by Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah. I might pop some of that in. Anyway. Thank you so much. I know that was a long old video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing me choose my pages and put them together and uh, give me a thumbs up. Comment if you've got anything to say. I'd love to chat with you. Uh, subscribe if you haven't, but I'd love you to come back and watch me again. There'll be another video up tomorrow. It won't be on this. Um, and I'll see you soon. Have a lovely day. Bye everybody.